How you doing, Danny? All right, how are you? Good. Tell us a little bit about your 35 Ford Custom. All right, so this was uh, built by Hollywood Hot Rods, Troy Ladd in California, probably 12 years ago. It's a 1935 Ford. It's done in the uh, Harry Westergaard style, which would be an early custom. Very Art Deco, very elegant kind of look to it. The front grill was a white truck. Grill, uh, the two front lights here are 40 Chevys. The whole front nose was custom built by Troy Ladd. Two front fenders of 1936 Plymouth. The running boards are molded in and custom made. The color is a custom color. Uh, they call this car Ruby Deluxe, I think, probably because of the color. The rims are 16s with high cutter tires, the big white wall and the Sobrero caps, which I think are 47 to 52. Uh, very commonly used on like tail draggers, early customs. So the rear fenders were peaked and extended eight inches. The whole rear of the car was extended 10 inches, stretched. And this whole trunk was formed. They used a Bentley hood to make this trunk. This is built out of aluminum. I peaked it down the middle. The rear two lights are Hudson, late 40s Hudson. And the rear bumper guard is a, is a so Merc override. I don't talk about Converted to a rear bumper. Yeah, so this car started out as a 35 humpback sedan, so it would have ran all the way to the back of the roof line like this. It had a hump in the back. Um, so you can just imagine the fabrication that was done on this to make it into what it is. Well, the skirts were all handmade, uh, flush skirts, running boards are, you know, arrow glassed in. All right, Danny, what's going on with the interior of this car? All right, so the interior is done in California as well, and I think uh, Martinez did it, his famous uh, interior guy, Troy Ladd. The steering wheel is a 46 Pontiac. Um, the front dash was custom made to fit the late 40s Chrysler gauge panel, Mercury uh, clock. All the knobs were handmade, the handles. By the original owner, he was a jeweler and a tattoo artist. Gear selectors out of a Hudson, late 40s Hudson. The steering wheel is a 46 Pontiac steering wheel. With the, he made the uh, emblem for the centerpiece. It matched the uh, switches and the pedals. The engine's simple, it's a custom. Um, it's a Chevy 350 with a 700 overdrive. It's, uh, it's reliable, and that's what I'm looking for, because like I said before, I drive it everywhere. Can't go wrong with a Chevy 350, you get parts anywhere, if it's stuck or whatever, it's all very reliable motor. I think they made 20 million of them.